What's up, Money Minds? Welcome back to another video edition of Market Briefs by the Minority Mindset. Today is September 30th, and here's some business and financial news you can finally use. It looks like crypto continues to trade into the negative. On Tuesday night, the global crypto market declined by around 3.5%. Bitcoin is a fine example. Bitcoin's 24-hour high was around $42,537, and its 24-hour low was around $40,795. That's just for one coin. Spooky reminder for you, October starts tomorrow, so make sure to shake off those bones and get all of your Halloween stuff ready. In our September 29th market recap, the rebound had had a mixed trading day on Wall Street yesterday. The Dow and S&P 500 rebounded ever so slightly, but are still on pace for a negative week. The tech-heavy Nasdaq dropped into the red towards the end of the trading session yesterday as the 10-year Treasury yield moved just a bit higher. It looks like defensive stocks had a decent day yesterday, and the utility sector outperformed the market in general. Today, we're switching things up with a quote of the day instead of a financial tip of the day, and our quote of the day comes from the legendary Henry Ford. The quote is, whether you think you can, or whether you think you can't, you're right. Wise words to just say you can do whatever you set your mind to. So whether your goal is to do something or not do something, you're going to do it either way. So let that be a lesson for you. And speaking of lessons, we have an update on the Evergrande crisis. Chinese property giant Evergrande will sell a $1.5 billion stake in Shenzhen Bank ahead of its next bond interest payment. The Shenyang Shenzhen Finance Investment Group already scooped up the shares for the sale, each one valued at 5.7 yuan. Earlier this month, Evergrande already sold around 1 billion yuan's worth of its shares in the bank. This is all in a hope to actually liquidate some of its properties. Evergrande carries around $300 billion in debt and has been struggling to find the funding to pay it all off. It is now the world's most indebted real estate firm, announcing twice just this month that it may default on all of its debts, which has sent the global stock markets into shock. Next up, we have a brand new section called Meme Central. Minority Mindset Meme Central. Try saying that three times fast. In this new section, we want to tell you all about our experience at FineCon this year. We had a ton of fun at FineCon 2021 and made plenty of, well, memeable moments. If you happen to catch Jaspreet's keynote speech at the event this year, then you heard him say to not trust anyone, including me. But not just me, he was talking about himself here or just anyone on the internet for that matter. Basically, when he was starting out, pretty much everyone told him that he couldn't build a business with what he was doing on YouTube. And with around 1.1 million subscribers later, we can officially confirm that they were wrong. The moral of the story is be original, be yourself, and trust your own process. And remember, do not listen to random people on the internet. Next up in our second main story, we're going to go a little bit more deep into the markets and what currently is happening on Wall Street. But before we do that, I need you to do me a quick favor and smash that thumbs up button below and hit that little notification bell too. That way YouTube shows our videos to way more money minds around the world and we can keep making videos just like this one. Thanks for doing that and here's exactly what happened with the markets. Warby Parker made its public debut on the New York Stock Exchange yesterday, and the mostly online eyewear startup traded under the stock ticker WRBY. Warby began trading via a direct listing at a reference price of about $40, though Warby Parker has a market value of around $4.5 billion, the company only has about 1% of the eyeglass market. In other words, there are a ton of other eyewear companies that have a pretty big chunk on the industry. Lexotica, Essilor, and Johnson & Johnson, to name a few. Warby Parker's CEO justified the move to go public with only 1% of the eyeglass market because their team is super focused on growth. In recent months, Warby has started to expand into brick and mortar locations. But this is kind of following an unprofitable trend. Like many before, Warby Parker is losing money. It lost $7.3 million in the six months ending June 30th as it expanded. In fact, Warby Parker has either lost money or broken just even for the past three years. And if that sounds familiar, they are not alone. Uber, Peloton, and a bunch of other hyped up companies remain unprofitable, but have seen some success on the public market. That's it for our main two stories of the day today. So let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Fundrise. Do you wanna invest in real estate but hate tenants? Well, Fundrise may be the perfect way to invest in real estate then. 
Fundrise makes it easy and unlocks a brand new world of real estate investing without the headache or upfront capital. No more dealing with tenants or unclogging toilets either. You can get started by investing just $500 and get exposure to real estate that will literally pay you with passive income. In addition, you'll get paid a quarterly dividend. You can invest your money in a portfolio that is filled with dozens of real estate projects all across the country, and the returns are pretty good too, with 8.7 to 12.4% is the average historical return rate. Wealthy people use their money to buy real estate, and now you can too, all with the help of Fundrise. And for whatever reason, if you are not happy with your investment, Fundrise will literally buy your investment back within the first 90 days. So if you're interested in an investment with Fundrise and want to get started, I will leave a link in the description description below on exactly how you can do that. Thanks again to Fundrise for sponsoring this video and now back to the news. Next up in retail, let's talk about the dollar-ish store. For decades now, the Dollar Tree has sold products to customers for only a dollar. Even items that don't make sense being that cheap like laundry detergent and shoes have always remained a dollar. Now for the very first time in its existence, the Dollar Tree is upping a few of its products to cost more than just a buck. Thanks, COVID. Annual inflation this year has gone up by 4.2% to its highest point in over 30 years. And in addition, prices for clothes, cars, food, labor, and shipping have also all gone up this year, making the Dollar Tree struggle to keep its low-cost premise. But at least for now, it doesn't look like the prices are going to be all too outrageous. There will be a mix of some $1.25 and $1.50 items throughout the store, and then a separate area called Dollar Tree Plus to hold items of up to $5. Although it won't be fully the Dollar Tree anymore, it will allow the store to bring in more of a variety of items to be sold at a great discounted price that you really can't beat. Next up in our mind blown section, we have to talk about the green gas guzzler. Jeep just revealed its new and improved first ever Grand Cherokee plug-in hybrid. The automaker wants to try to pivot to greener vehicles and leave the gas guzzler stereotype behind it. With an overall driving range of about 440 miles, the new Grand Cherokee has around 25 miles of all-electric power before switching to its four-cylinder turbo engine. And although this is the very first plug-in Grand Cherokee, it's the second hybrid car that Jeep has produced, following the hybrid Wrangler. Now this is nothing original. Jeep is just following in the path of other automakers here as it's investing an estimated $35.5 billion into electric vehicles over the next few years. Although Jeep's first electric vehicle won't be available until 2023, it unveiled its all-electric concept of its beloved Wrangler just a little while ago. Next up is our Pick Your Brain section, and we'll start with today's second sponsor, M1 Finance. M1 Finance lets you invest, but without all the fees. Everyone always says that you need to invest more money each month. Problem is many brokerages will charge you every time you invest more. Well, M1 Finance is not like most brokerages. They are completely free to use and, by the way, they let you even invest in fractional shares. This means if you don't have the money to purchase those big ticket stocks like Amazon and Apple, they let you buy portions of the share for a smaller amount. So if M1 Finance sounds like the real deal to you, I'll leave a link in the description on how you can find them, learn more, and start investing. Our second pick your brain of the day, I hope you're hungry because we got way more beef. Elon Musk has started to take some serious shots at Jeff Bezos. And while he hasn't actually spoken to the former CEO of Amazon, he continues to subtweet him to his over 60 million followers. After saying that Bezos can't, quote, sue his way to the moon, end quote, Elon encouraged him to get into orbit. We got some serious billionaire beef going on. Next up is our Money Mind section where we pull comments directly from you all on our YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok accounts. Today's comment is from Anur Barquette on YouTube and the comment simply just reads the minority mindset in Espanol. For our English speakers, that's the minority mindset in Spanish because we just launched a brand new Spanish channel that goes over all the same content you love, but in Spanish. So if you're interested in watching all of our great videos, but in Spanish, check out our brand new Spanish channel, fully translated for your convenience. Thanks again for the comment, Anur, and if you want a chance to be featured in our next Market Briefs newsletter, join the conversation and leave a comment below before you go. Next up in tech, have you all seen this new upgraded RoboDog? 
Amazon just unveiled its very first home robot named Astro. Astro is around the size of a small dog and moves around the house on wheels along with a 42 inch camera holding an arm to keep an eye on the house while you're away. Astro knows a ton of tricks too, like Astro can follow you around the house while playing music or project TV shows and movies on its 10 inch screen. Astro can also link up with your Amazon Ring, tell the weather or sports scores, and let you live video chat. In addition, Amazon Astro can also recognize faces, create a map of your home to move around flawlessly, and store objects in its back to carry around or bring to different rooms upon your request. The thing is though, Astro doesn't have any arms or legs, so it can't pick up anything and actually bring it to you. And Amazon recommends keeping it on just one floor since stairs are not its strong suit. To help avoid any overproduction in the case Astro is a flop, Astro will only be available for a certain number of people. And you can take Astro home for the very, very low price of around $999. Lastly, Money Minds, here is just one more big thing for you to keep in mind this week. We recently just launched the Minority Mindset Mentor Program, where actual stock market insiders show you exactly how to build long-term wealth. You will join a private Discord community of investors who discuss nothing but investing strategies and personal finance literally all day long. Additionally, you will have exclusive access to participate in our live weekly calls with our coaches and stock market insiders. Lastly, all of our sessions are recorded for our members to have access to watch and ask questions at any time. So remember, your network is your net worth. And if you're interested in our Stock Market Insiders program, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can start and we're even giving a 10 day free trial away right now. So click that link below and join our Stock Market Insiders program. But that is it for today's business and financial news. Thank you so much for watching. Keep hustling money minds and I'll see you all in the next one.